So the stakes were really definitely very high. I think we're all familiar with uh, the pressure that comes along with uh, playing under 100 Thieves and what the expectations are around that. What we had to do to win the second time around was win four straight matches in the upper bracket. We got three days, I believe, of practice. I was thinking to myself, wow, if we actually lose, we are completely dead in the water here, you know, and we wouldn't be in the game at all. One by one and it's Will. And a one they know. to keep a hundred thieves alive, but it might just be done. Will oh, doesn't no. have the bullets in seven. An iconic way to send TSM to the main event. Oh, yeah. So after we got done finishing that TSM best of three, the second one, obviously everyone was super emotional. We expected to beat them the second time around. And it's one of those ones where after it ended, I just knew it was going to be like a great learning experience, right? Because any up and coming team, they need to have that feeling of the painful loss. Going to that first seven qualifier and losing, I think the players played 20 maps in three days, which is insane. I mean, a format that's really horrible in the sense of it's a gauntlet. We came out from that knowing that we, we should have qualified and we had all the opportunities to do so. And so, you know, going forward, I think that only served to create more confidence. I think we bounced out of it perfectly, right? The next day, everyone wanted to watch the VODs go over stuff and we were right back at it again. Right now, we are in the AT&T Valorant team house in Dallas with four of our team members, excluding Bang and the coaching staff, and we're going to be starting our Open Qualifier 2. We unfortunately lost to TSM in the last qualifier, but um, we kind of used that as motivation to, like, for these scrims, really, like, go 110% in practice and everything just so we can get back on our feet. I think a lot of us were confident. We definitely knew we had what it took to qualify, and we kind of brought that in for the next one. We got three days, I believe, of practice, so being able to work for three more days was nice. We kind of just basically refined some of the strats that we, were, we went over and kind of talked over the mistakes that we made. I mean, after our loss against TSM, we knew we were going to be the best team coming into the second qualifier. What we had to do to win the second time around was win four straight matches in the upper bracket. So when I started to think about it, because I definitely have been thinking about it, I, I was thinking to myself, wow, if we actually lose, we are completely dead in the water here, you know, and we wouldn't be in the game at all. So uh, our first match of the day was against Team Rekaru. They're a pretty good Tier 2 team. We didn't really think too much of it. I think we cleaned up on a lot of our mistakes and it, we crushed them pretty bad. Wait, can be I'm just kidding. I'm blind. Oh yeah. On the left. Oh. What the? He's late. He's late. Yo, easy collab. GG, my boy. Team Rekaru win, brother. Let's go. Yo, close. I was actually kind of not nervous to play Sonics, but I was interested in playing them because I haven't really played them with their new roster and I didn't really know what to expect. Going up One enemy remaining. More. Nice. He was okay, we cleaned up a ton in that game and we kind of just showed them who's boss. They're good damage coming through. Careful because you're getting fight in the back! Oh! Oh! Nice. Derek, 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 Derek. Derek. All right, wait. I can maybe get this kill. Like, what's your thoughts on I'm getting this? Jump up. Magic for you, Mew. Mew? Nice, boys. Nice. Magic for Mew. Another day in the day. What? Life. Thank God! Another day in the life. After our first two games, we felt like we were pretty confident with clean wins over Sonic and Team Rekaru. They are both good opponents, and we felt like if we're having clean games like these, then we could easily qualify in the upper bracket. So coming into Saturday, knowing that we only had two more BO3s to qualify, I think the team was feeling pretty confident. Uh, we've already been NYFE once, and I think we could have done it again. Are they off for that? Wait, we don't know. Oh, and now he comes out with the Tour de Force, gonna be able to get a second shot up coming in with a showstopper. NYFU, it felt like they just spent like 12 hours just anti striding us on the split and I just, we couldn't get anything going. And then the next two rounds were just a breeze. First pit didn't go up, but bang, bang in the back, he's gonna get shocked. Asuna in a 1v2. Oh my God. What? Oh, 
Peter was just on a roll this entire weekend. Like, he was just getting multi frags, like, out of nowhere. But, hey, Will, he just can't get those knives actually onto Jason. One more knife actually should be able to do it and maybe actually reload the knives. And indeed, he gets him out. And only one player remaining here. No! Luckily, we carried the momentum that we got from NYFU with the two clean wins at the end to Air Crew. Dropping. He's hit 30. Let's go, baby. We were up 11 0 against the crew, and it was funny because I was saying, like, everything's working. Like, I don't even know what to do anymore. So I was like, Sean, you could just call this last one. And I was like, all right, bet. No! I knew Sean Right, Let's just say if uh, maybe if my IGL was calling, we might have been able to 13 of them, but yeah, I'll take the fault on that one. Take off a man to win this game. Yep. Or he's someone. Like, he's like no time here. I think someone should just ego peek him, honestly. No, nice, boys. Go, baby. Get up, get up. Don't get It was pretty relieving actually qualifying because I knew we could do it. It was just a matter of like actually doing it. We were, we've were we been a team for about a month now, I'd say, give or take. And uh, we were playing against rosters that like were together for months, if not like a year. It was pretty nice to be able to dominate most of the teams that we played against. But honestly, I think that we have a lot of work to do. So going into the close qualifier, we're definitely going to brush up on maybe bringing in some new comps and being able to fix some little mistakes that we made during the games. You know, the hard work we were putting in pays off. I think the boot camp was very successful. I think we showed that we cleaned up a lot of our mistakes, especially from the first qualifier. It feels amazing to qualify because now it feels like, you know, one small part of the job is done. We, we have essentially earned a seat at the table of the best teams in North America and now we have to prove that not only do we belong there, that we belong at the absolute top. I'm really proud of the team and, and the players, and I'm very excited for what is to come. Peter! You're right there. You're going to say that. What? You said you're going demon, damn it. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, he did it for her. He did it for her. He did it for her. Yeah. Stop. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much, man. Yeah, I'll see you in LA. Yo, <laughs> thank you, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude, I could not be happier, bro. Have a good one. Yeah, let's get some truly. Let's get some truly. <laughs> so the next step for us is uh, the group stage. So we're going to have quite a stacked group, I'm sure. There's going to be six teams in the group. We're going to be one of them. And it's spread out over five weeks. Now the game shifts drastically. Now we go from playing, you know, three best of threes in a day to one best of three a week where preparation is everything for that one best of three. Tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day. We're going to have to try to plan out what we want to accomplish within a week because we have matches every week from here on out. So we're just going to have to take it week by week and see how it goes. Yeah, I'm definitely really excited for this group stage. Um, there's a lot of teams that I really wanted to play in previous tournaments. Uh, I've never been able to play them, unfortunately, and I'm really excited with, with how we've been progressing in scrims and how far we've progressed for this with such a little amount of time. I'm definitely extremely excited and I can't wait to play these teams. Now we get to put the work in. We've bought ourselves some time as well to do that work. And so that's what's really exciting for me now. I, I can't almost even process the fact that we just qualified, but ultimately I'm way more excited about all the work that's to come to show the world what this team is capable of. Thank you everyone for watching our entire run and supporting uh, 100 Thieves. Shout out to the Discord group. Appreciate you guys. Oh, does it feel good or what? Oh my god, we are old men. Cut this, cut this. No, we're gonna see it. No, this leads secrets. <laughs>